The most alarming thing that we're finding is that in Washington, D.C., half the young people are not finishing high school. Uh, if you drop out of school, what can you do? The quickest way to make money is maybe selling drugs or now whatever. Now to a shooting in a D.C. public school parking lot. A drive-by shooting in Washington, D.C. My mother went through a lot of stuff, drinking maybe drugs and stuff like that. And so we went into a foster home. Every chance that I can take to get out of the city, I want to take. Because if I'm out of the city, I can actually relax. I know what it feel like to be broke, poor, homeless, and everything. I'm just not that emotional. I try to be emotionless for some reason. But everybody knows the reason. It's always because of the past and everything. You know, this is different than your everyday youth venture program. They're going to be looking at, you know, the grief and the trauma we've had in our lives, the anger that we hold inside, best ways to have healthy relationships with other people. It's not that we're just going to play frisbee in the mountains. Life really is too short to keep, like, living like this. We can get young kids together and show adults that we can handle this. ourselves from the hurt and we can take responsibility for our healing. We can channel that anger in a way where it moves mountains. I can't change who I am. I'm not going to change who I am. There's no way to change who I am. Right now we have the opportunity to change. We have the opportunity to make a transition within ourselves. But where do you start? Eight days is not going to do it exactly. Eight days of a tree is not going to form. Even though you sit there and you water it and you look at it and you watch it and you say, yes, eight days is not going to do it to something. But a seed can be planted in one minute.